Hi, my name is Nilesh. I am software architect with 15 plus years of experience in VFX and gaming. Creating a 3D application and a custom game engine has always been my dream. On this channel, I share my journey of building a game engine from scratch while exploring graphic programming, rendering and software designing. If you are interested in game engine development, graphics programming, UI frameworks, building tools for games, VFX, 3D application, then you are in the right place. Subscribe and follow along as we explore software development ideas, practical coding tips and the behind the scenes process of creating a game engine from scratch. And let's just start our today's topic from here. So continuing with my game engine development journey, I thought hey, it's time to make things look a bit professional. Let's add a menu bar to my game engine. Well, that's when things started falling apart in the way I didn't expect. Before I tell you what broke, let's first see how I actually built the menu bar. To implement it, I created three widgets. Now, in my framework, a widget is just a struct that inherits from the base widget struct. The first one was context menu item. This is the basic item you would see in your menu. Open, save, exit, that kind of stuff. Each item has a trigger function attached to it. So when you click it, it just fires off. The second one was context menu. This is like a container that holds all the items together. For example, file, edit, about. And finally the big one, the menu bar itself. This guy holds all the context menus and takes care of displaying them in the window. To keep things clean, I have even wrote a separate function called create menu bar and called it inside a create scratch window function so it attaches nicely to our test window. So far so good, right? Well, here is where things got messy. When I built and ran the application for the first time, I immediately noticed something weird. All my other widgets were drawing on top of menu bar. At first, I thought maybe I had a bug in how I positioned the menu, but then it hit me that my framework didn't have any concept of draw order. See, Relip doesn't handle the depth sorting automatically. It just draws the shapes in the order you call the draw functions. So basically, whoever draws the last wins and end up on the top. That explained why my menu bar was getting buried and not everything else. Luckily, the fix wasn't too complicated. Add a zdep variable to my base widget struct. By default, every widget gets depth of 1. But for a special widget like menu bar, I set it to something higher, so it's always drawn on the top. Then in my draw method, I updated the logic to sort all the widgets by their z-depth before drawing them. And just like that, the problem was gone. My menu bar finally looked the way it should. This was pretty simple implementation in the end, but it also revealed the important flaw in my framework, and that's why I wanted to share this with you guys. Because if you ever building your own GUI framework, these little things like draw order can sneak up on you. Better to keep them in mind before they come back to bite you later. If this kind of develop content excites you, smash that like button, subscribe to follow the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next iteration of my game engine.